What's up YouTube and welcome back. We have a 2009 Hyundai that was sent from another shop. Another Meineke shop, how about that? Um, supposedly they didn't have a technician on Saturday to do this. So, uh, let's get into it. So I troubleshot the car on Saturday last week and of course can't get anything from anywhere anymore in a timely manner and uh, I said man I see a lot of new parts fired at this car for an evap problem so I did a smoke test and I was like all right aftermarket vent valve shiny new aftermarket purge valve OEM does not come with a sticker on it like that and then a beat up gas cap all right so I was like all right we're not we're not going any further until we get OEM parts on here. Manufactured in Korea. So uh, we just got the parts today. Um, OEM gas cap, OEM purge, OEM vent. And let's get into this. So we're going to get into the self-test here. So we're going to go control unit. We're going to go engine. We're going to clear the codes first. And um, the engine light was still on from Saturday, which I suspect it. And then we're gonna get into active test. And is this gonna do? Is this gonna let us do it? I don't care about any of that shit. Special function evap leakage, evap large leakage test. So this is not going to 15%. Good guy, he's got fuel on it. Engine temperature above 80 Celsius. We're good to go. What, what's the problem? Cycle the key off. This is the bullshit that I can't stand. Every EVAP test is different for every manufacturer. Everyone. There we go. So the engine had to be running. So now it's gonna run a self-test. And what I like about Hyundai and Kia is it, it's a short EVAP test. Um, typically it's gonna tell you what's going on within less than a minute. Typically, if there's not any issues still. Which I do not believe that there's an issue. Unless I didn't plug the purge valve in, which I don't think I didn't, but we're gonna find out. So tank pressure 16 PSI, test complete. Boom. So no large leak detected. Doesn't mean he doesn't have a very small or something else because again, the diagnostic strategy for these cars is really such a pain in the ass and they really need to do something about it because it's ridiculous. There you go. Stop using o aftermarket parts, especially for EVAP problems. Thanks for watching.